Good evening, Occupy Portland. Uh, some of you maybe remember I was here before. My proposal was approved. It was about the, to, to say simply, lifting the camping ban, although it's a lot more complicated, supporting the homeless camp down on Burnside. Uh, this letter was approved in principle. It's a letter from us at the General Assembly to the mayor who lives over there. Uh, it's an open letter. But I thought, as an act of courtesy, I might read the actual text of the letter to you, just to double check. I'm on the I'm on the queue. Okay, there's some, there's some issue about whether I should read this or not. I checked with. Okay, so I'll try to read as fast as I can. Sorry, it's long. This open letter from the General Assembly of Occupy Portland affirms our solidarity with the homeless people in our city. We ask that the city ordinances currently used to criminalize homeless people be suspended until new solutions are found. Yeah! This might also help us in our camp also. This request is in accordance with the official Bill of Rights for Children and Youth as adopted by, by Portland and Multnomah County. Shelter. We have the inherent right to shelter. The City of Portland and Multnomah County should continue their efforts to provide adequate shelter to those who need it." Unquote. The number of unhoused people living on the streets of Portland has steadily increased over the past 10 years in spite of good intentions to reduce homelessness to zero. Instead, Portland city officials are now cracking down on the efforts of a nonprofit homeless organization, Right to Dream 2, or R2D2, to open their own self help site, a rest area for those forced to live outdoors, and it's located next to the Chinatown Gate on Burnside. Their goals are modest and very basic quote, the right to rest, the right to sleep, and the right to dream, too. Unquote. The Occupy Wall Street movement is calling attention to the increasing inequality and economic injustice across the country. Our one frequent grievance is the rise of evictions due to home foreclosures, a trend which has been exposed as caused by banks' irresponsible manipulation of loans. Many more Americans are now on the precarious edge of living one or two paychecks away from joining the homeless themselves. This is a state of economic emergency which calls out for extraordinary action by governments. We encourage you to open dialogue with alternative solutions such as the R2D2 uh, rest area which is legally leased on private property and is run by experienced volunteers with support from the community. Such efforts in self-determination and bootstrap self-help cost the city nothing as they are funded by charity and managed by the hard work of volunteer organizers. Such projects are in the American vein of self-reliance and also strengthen community bonds. We invite you to help such grassroots solutions. Finally, we're almost done. Finally, the Bill of Rights for Children and Youth can be found prominently displayed on the reception desk of Mayor Adams' office, there on the third floor. And, and it's also online on the county website. It affirms what Occupy Portland also affirms, the inalienable right to survive, which requires shelter. Families and individuals who cannot live indoors for whatever reason, should not be swept out of sight and mind. They deserve the human dignity to be seen and to exist in our city. Thank you for considering this appeal this evening from us. Thank you. Um, so that was not exactly an announcement, um, but it happened because I perceived, this is a transparent facilitator moment here, I perceived a general desire among you all to hear that and I perceived a desire among this gentleman to read that. Um, but this is actually a space for committee announcements, so are there any more committee announcements before we move on to general announcements? I do have a clarifying question. Yeah. 
on the uh, Occupy Portland website. Mic check. Mic check. On the Occupy Portland website. On the Occupy Portland website. Is there a list of all the committees? Is there a list of all the committees? And how to contact them. And how to contact them. Yeah, we have somebody about to make that announcement, and that's another great example of a question that can also be asked from one individual to another outside of the context of the GA. That was a pretty good question, though. Um, so I'm Colin. I'm with the web media team. I'm actually with the social media team, but I'm representing the whole web communications team, I guess, at the moment. Uh, we do have a website. It's OccupyPortland.org or OccupyPDX.org. I think they redirect to each other. There are forums up now. Uh, that allow for that kind of discussion, um, both about the proposals here and about the various committees that we have. Um, and there is now even an online polling system on that website. So we're really working towards getting more community involvement. Not everybody can attend a GA. If you can't attend a GA, uh, please uh, go on the forums. You can discuss matters there. We are reading the forums. We are trying to take that input, and we are working on a process uh, to further online input, uh, both through a projector, which hopefully we'll have up here at the next GA. I know engineering built a screen for it. Uh, yeah, go engineering. Yeah. Um, and then also, if you guys cannot attend the GA during the actual time of the GA at 7 p.m., we do have the live stream, uh, so you guys can attend virtually. Uh, there's going to be an online chat, and we're going to try to project that up as well so that we can get some feedback to the audience of what people online are thinking. Um, so the live stream web address is www.livestream.com slash OccupyPTown, um, or you can go to OccupyStream.com, and they have streams from all over the world of all the Occupy movements. You can check out what's going on in New York, or in London, um, or in Paris, or wherever. So it's pretty cool, guys. You should check it out. Um, also, you can follow us on Occupy Portland Twitter, uh, at Occupy Portland, at PDX, and at or uh, Occupy Oregon. We have all three uh, Twitter handles that we are constantly updating tweets from the occupation. Uh, I'm just on a separate, I have two small separate announcements. Um, there was a wedding today at Occupy Portland. It, 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 was, it was a beautiful thing. We live streamed the event. I want to say congratulations to the bride and groom. I don't know if they're here, but anyway, I just, I just want to make that announcement. The second announcement I have is a personal announcement, and I'm going to kind of creep in here, even though I'm a committee member, uh, which is we are trying to, and there'll be more about it at the next GA, uh, get an act, uh, uh, autonomous action for people who want to join uh, to do a sit-in at Wells Fargo on the 31st, um, dressed up as ghouls or goblins or whatever kind of costumes yeah. you can pull, um, and just sit in in front of the Wells Fargo building. That's a totally... Autonomous action I'm trying to organize, and if you're interested, you can talk to me after the GA. Sorry, that's the end of my announcements. Thank you. Is there any more committee announcements? Hi there. I'm Vianney Riviere from the Finance Committee. Hi, Vianney. Hello. <laughs> so on the 26th of October, we're going to have Pink Martini at the Pioneer Courthouse at noon with the Benefit, con with the benefit Concert. And the Finance Committee is asking... And the Finance Committee is asking for anybody that knows anybody about staging and recording and can do volunteer work uh, to please contact us ASAP. Okay? Great, thank you. Any more committee announcements? Hi, my name's Ben. I'm with the Sexual Assault Advocacy Committee. Um, we would like to remind you folks to keep your hands to yourself without enthusiastic verbal consent. Ask first. Thank you. Are there any more committee announcements? Okay, time to move to general announcements. We have a line formed. I ask anybody with a general announcement to please keep it brief and factual. Who's first? Hello, my name is Michael Kimmett. I have been running an economics course, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 2 p.m. We've been doing it for a week, and it seems to not suck. So, please come to my economics course on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 2 p.m. and ask questions and be part of a conversation so that we may all be more informed. Thank you very much. Library. Thank you. Economics course, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 2 p.m. at the library. Thank you. Next. <clears throat> Hello. Uh, my name is Mike. Uh, this is a draft proposal 
please. That, that's coming later. Doing that proposal in the mic. No, it's not. This is a draft proposal. <clears throat> this is a draft proposal to determine a start time and place for weekly Occupy Portland marches. If anyone wants to work on this, especially a committee or work group member, which has already been established, we, we talked about it already, so. Um, come talk to me after this announcement. Blah, blah, blah. Um, uh, well, actually, there's already a committee uh, member. Uh, I think he's from the action committee. Uh, work that's going to hash this out with the other committee members and present it as a formal p proposal tomorrow night. Um, if you're wondering why I am making this announcement, it's a point of process. We need to have official proposal presented to and passed by the General Assembly tomorrow night. And this is based on decisions that we've already made through the General Assembly proposal consensus approval process. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Um, I am here to discuss the art tent, if anyone is familiar with it. Um, raise your hands if you like having the art tent. Raise your hands if you've been in there and could stand it. Point in case. There is no committee taking care of the art tent. There is no one in there doing anything for the art tent except making a large amount of mess. And I would like that addressed immediately. I would like a committee formed, I would like organization to occur, I would like supplies to be taken care of, and I would love to help make that happen. So if you would like to help me with that, find me, I will be back over there. For the entire camp too! Absolutely. Signs need to happen, a lot of mess does not. Great, thank you. I have two separate announcements. One is about a class tomorrow afternoon, um, either here or at the library from 2 to 4 p.m. Paul Sanfuegos will be talking about corporate charters and natural, uh, natural rights, which I think is one of our greatest leverage points that we have uh, both, uh, well, for the movement, for the 99% globally. So I encourage folks to show up for that. That's number one. Announcement number two, something that I've seen happening in different um, occupies around the country is involvement from different neighborhoods, actually outreach going out to different neighborhoods so that we have better representation and uh, yeah, just a showing of the whole community. So if you're interested in working on a proposal about how to do outreach and getting out to the communities, we have 95 neighborhood associations, so we'll need a lot of uh, support on that if people are interested. I will be in the Sukkah, which is at 3rd and Salmon, tomorrow afternoon from one noon on. Thank you. Where is Paul teaching? Uh, I believe he'll be teaching in the library, but information in the library will have the definites on that. 2 to 4 p.m. Tuesday and Thursday. Thank you. Hello, my name is Kyle. I just want to start this by saying that I'm an absolutely terrible public speaker, so please bear with. All right. I would like to form a committee with the sole purpose of keeping in contact with every Occupy movement going on across the country and across the world for the sole, with a long-term goal of writing up a list of demands for our nation and our government with viable solutions for each demand. And if you want to talk to me about this, I'll be standing over there by that tree after this announcement. Thank you. Thank you, Kyle. Fucking rad.